morning guys it's is it june one or two right now i think it's june two it's just after five just rolled into this public land area we haven't hunted this place since first week of season ethan's got that early season tag and after that closing he didn't get a bird it opens back up in june so last few days of season here I'm gonna see if we can make one last effort today if it doesn't pan out we might even go out tomorrow but we're hoping this morning's the morning so got a little ways to walk in and then we're gonna listen for that first gobble see if we can get on them ain't that right Ethan? oh yeah let's get them whippoorwill sound pretty excited too so let's get her let's get her done let's get her done It's a little bit too early yet. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit cloudy, so that puts them back a couple more minutes, so they'll be cowling any second now. And obviously it's you know late in the season, so they don't want to gobble too early. Yeah. They don't want to sound too desperate. They want to save some of that prime time gobbling yeah. for the ladies. Yeah. yeah. For the ones who are still single. You know. Yep. The stragglers. It is June. I mean, I heard in June they just don't gobble right away either. When in it, June. When in June. When in June. Turtle. Yeah, I think it's definitely a box turtle. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that thing. Sell something that at least moving in the woods this morning. Yeah. Turkeys are non existent so far. Did you say something about how they're endangered or something? Yeah, they're pretty yeah. Uh, pretty protected in Michigan. There's really not a lot of them. Yeah. I was hunting out in Indiana a couple weeks back and I saw in two days 10 of them. Yeah. I was like tripping over them, which was insane. But in Michigan, there's, there's not a lot of them. I haven't seen one in years, so this is actually pretty sweet. Yeah, not too big, but here's something. Yep, here's something that's special. About, that's about how big they get. Too. Really? Yep. Pretty wild, man. You never know what you're gonna find in the woods. Yeah, I saw him a ways off. I was like, God, kind of looks like a turtle, but I don't think so. Maybe it's yeah. just some leaves or something. And he pulled his I head. I didn't in. know what it was because I've never seen one. So I was like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that a, is that really a turtle? <laughs> pretty sick yeah. all right time to go chase after some some those non mythical, those mythical turkeys oh, man, those zebra thunder wings i oh, mean yeah. they're just part of history yeah you know just, i don't believe it but we're gonna just take a take your gun for a walk regardless yeah. come on girl let's go see you bud Well, it's about quarter to seven now. We did a loop of that piece of public. Just found a bunch of just hen tracks. Cool thing is it rained yesterday evening so we can find fresh tracks on any good two tracks. So only found hen sign, didn't get a single gobble out of this morning or any turkey sightings. So bounce into another spot. I'm gonna run that for a little while and we might just take a breakfast intermission and head back out for the rest of the day, so. Hopefully we can find ourselves a late season June gobbler yet. Where are the boys at? Hiking in a new spot. See if we can find us a 
bird that actually gobbles back to any, literally any call that we make. So we go, we're going to try, we're going to try. But hopefully we can get on to something before this heat. So it's supposed to get up to 90, I think, today. So we're going to hit this piece, make a big loop, and probably hit up some breakfast. And then hit it hard the rest of the day. See what we can find. It's going to be tough, but we're going to give it a shot. Man. What I almost step on? A little box turtle. Box turtle number two. Chances, man. What are the chances? Two box turtles in one day. Not bad. Not bad. He's getting completely fogged out by mosquitoes. Yeah. But so are we. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked into this new piece. Set up and called for a bit. Nothing called or gobbled. We just walked to the back end of this field. Got something to gobble back in here. Don't know if it was a Jake. It didn't sound like a pretty gobble, but we're gonna try to plop into these woods right here, probably. See what happens. See if we can call him in. We're about to get annihilated by it. We're gonna see if he's gonna come in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well he's in there, but Dude, I think we go in at him closer, don't you think? Maybe. He's he in their ways. Like he is in their ways. Though. Think so? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gobbling good, dude. That might be a good gobbler. We might be good. We're gonna give him some time, see if he works in. If not, we're just gonna push right in at him and hopefully get close enough to kill him. So getting annihil annihilated by mosquitoes in the meantime. So trying to get this thermosel cranking as soon as we can. This is not, not very fun. Do not recommend hunting in June because this is about all it is, is defending your yourself from mosquitoes. But we'll see what we can do. this bird up probably just after 10 o'clock it's about quarter to 11 now he only responded for the first few series of um, yelps and then kind of just shut down he was definitely a good two to three hundred yards off so he hasn't we hope yeah we hope. we hope hopefully he's not coming in silent but we thought we've given him enough time to do so if he was so we're just gonna he was back this way this is a corner of the field. He was back two to three hundred yards that way. So we're just gonna loop around the edge and then start going in at him and set up another 80 or so yards in the woods and try hitting him there if we're closer, hopefully he responds, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Quarter to one. Had a new piece private this time and we're going to do a loop of the property hoping we can find a bird out in these hardwoods in the heat of the day hopefully they're hunkering down in the shade so see what we can do You sure? A 
pronounce it for sure that way. Yeah. Okay, let's get down this way. Alright. Snuck around. Called and eventually got one to gobble way out. We've been ripping on the calls and he hasn't answered and finally we got eyes on him. So we're gonna get snuck up in here, get set up, and hopefully he comes straight in. a ways off yet so we got some time might quick yelp into these woods or even drop back and call Way out loud. Oh wait, I think I have that's one or not. No, it's a leaf. Oh wait, there's a couple hens way out there. We'll just we'll quick get around, belly crawl, try to get eyes, try to get eyes on them. couple hens way out where he came from and that Tom came around this bend and worked in the field line this way so I'm getting Ethan up here we're gonna try to get eyes on him but he sounded like he gobbled farther down last time we heard him Crawl back to me, he's out there. If you put your binos up there behind those branches that are hanging over, like just over that rise, so we're probably gonna have to quick cut across the field and get on that corner and try to get in on him. Oh, I'm dropping the bite. 
bring the jig just in case.
he was running out right. I had a clean shot. And I know he fell. I don't know if you fell, I thought I saw him running. What do we do? I don't know. We gotta slowly, I take my shot. Slowly work up. Cause I saw if it was him he was running diagonally away that way. Let's see if we can see him. He might just be right up there. He got some feathers from where he shot. Did see him make a break for it this way, so we might just have to see if he hunkered into a brush pile or something. Quick little walk around. Yeah, that was tough. I can't believe you saw him. Did you just catch him at the had corner of your eye. Shot and I took it. No, I mean I can't believe you spied him in the woods. I thought they were in the field yet. How'd you see him out there to just glance over? I just saw him fanning and I was like, Shh. Ooh. They are right there. Yeah, if we would have kept going, they probably would have seen us. Whew. Well, we're going to do our due diligence and see if he went and died in a brush pile or something. But, I don't know. He might have gotten out free. Well, it happens to everybody. We were, I don't know if you can see the hole, we were hit up right on the edge of the field there. They had been in the field this whole time and we were gonna sneak our way along, get a shot in the field, but they snuck into the woods and thankfully Ethan spotted him strutting in these woods. He went back and forth right here until finally he got far enough over and you get a shot. I'd say it's probably 40, 45. Yeah, I clipped the edge of this tree. Okay. Yeah. You see that clip, the edge yep. of the tree. So I don't know if that I did anything with the pattern, but a couple bees hit. Yeah. Definitely hit him a little bit, but I could see him just take off running back into here. And we did a good walk around, checked all the thick areas and brush piles and never saw or heard him. So it kind of sucks, but hey, it happens. It happens never, every never once in a while. Clapping or nothing. So. Well, looks like the chase is still on, but that was pretty intense. You hear him drumming and spitting? Yeah. That was pretty sweet. It's pretty that was intense. Pretty sweet. I was like, my stomach was just like vibrating because I was <laughs> I could like, see you just trying to keep it together. <laughs> I didn't oh, well. know what to do. Yep. Well, stay positive and we'll go after and try to find another one. It happens. Oh, man. <laughs> Last two days of hunting. Oh, boy. Getting down to the wire. Ethan ain't making it easy. Nope. Yeah, this is about where we ended up. They were literally just in this little dip right here and they had worked into the field or into the woods. Ethan got all the way down to here and they were just probably 40 yards or so back here on a flat and he was just strutting back and forth. But pretty intense. He was drumming and spitting like crazy with those hens and we had him coming all the way up until this corner and we were back across the field he didn't see anything he was looking hard but he turned around and then we saw some hens coming down the tree line and ended up seeing his fan so he found his hens back again and he wasn't leaving them we're we did our best oh shoot just out of luck with that time <laughs>